improvisation, boys. We got some bad winds coming in. We've been helping each other keep our tents and tarps down. Me and Gray are about to hit the high country for four solid days backpacking. Hope some giant mule there. Uh, you're the deer right here, and seems like there's like 100 people at Trailhead, so a lot of horses, a lot of trucks, a lot of horses. We got rifles though, so we'll uh, we're gonna earn this one. And some crazy weather coming in tomorrow, so we're hopeful. Yeah, get them stirred up, get them stirred up, get them off their, get them out of their beds and feeding, and let's find a giant. Let's get it done, man. Find a couple giants. It's just always interesting tracking your progress. Uh, gone about one point. Oh, did you start it from the very start, Greg? Uh, close. I got I got like 0.84, but I started it late. What do you got? 0.87. I started only. We're probably right at one mile. Probably right at one. Yeah, it's been a mile. Already sweating through my brand new Mealy Free Cat. But uh, that's the price of admission. We're taking a mini mini break here. Greg's addressing some rubbing there. Not bad yet. Don't want it to get bad though. Getting a little soft. Yeah, a little soft, a little tender foot. Can't help it. They must have rubbed quick, huh? They felt fine. I thought that it was that one where you call it the oven. Yeah. Oven bake or whatever. Yeah. That's where it baked them. Oh yeah. That one's gnar that opening, especially when it's 100 degrees. <laughs> Yeah, that yeah. was where I started feeling it a little bit, and then we stopped at the top, and I'm like, all right, good, I'm good. And then it started throbbing a little bit. Is it just that one or both? Both. Dang. Same spot. We're just getting psyched out for this last pull. Greg's finishing his blister care. Peyton's getting psyched out. Because he knows it's going to be a haul. And I'm just, I'm just in the anticipation for me of the public pressure of this public land spot. Got me a little anxious, but hey, I'm here. I'm here. My body's good. So I'm feeling great. Well, we're about half a mile from water. And then the real work starts. And then we'll be on top. Yeah. Then we just need to plan where to camp. So Yeah, get camp set up before the storm comes in. So nice hiking in this weather. Well, beautiful. So nice. We're over three quarters of the way to the top, and I'm gonna filter some water here at this spring. Fill up all our water before we summit. I'm just trying to get a little sugar too. MSR. Couple water bags. This is why you have a pump filter. Because those Sawyer filters won't work for this stuff. Especially when water's not running. Road getting old from that to the You fired up, Greg. <laughs> fired up, baby. Excited to be up here. Just been stopping off with water and a uh, little like ahead of us to get camp set up before this storm, but it's beautiful up here. Just gonna have to pack in a lot of weight going up to the summit, but show you how I got mine rigged up. So it's gonna be extra heavy. Looks like a storm's brewing. Temperature drops probably 55, 60 degrees. We're loaded down with probably an additional I don't know, 15 pounds of water, probably. And we're gonna hit the summit and then uh, head out. There's a lot of people, but we just gotta outplay them. Uh, and hopefully find a couple bucks. I don't know that we're gonna get time to glass tonight, but we're gonna get our, at least our camps, find a good camp spot, hopefully, and hopefully there's some available. And we'll hurry and get in there, so. Yeah. Here we go. Beautiful country, let's get it.
this all set up now. Pretend this is legit. I'm so pumped right now. Uh, we're gonna scout all day tomorrow, then opening day on the 15th. Hopefully we can find some bruisers. This is what we train all year for. This is what we work our tails off for. So excited. How you feeling, brother? I'm feeling good. I think we got a good spot. A lot of people in here, but we just gotta beat them to the places we wanna get. This is probably the worst part, having to blow this up at high altitude. Yeah, make sure you light You make it lightheaded so fast. <sighs> Boys, we got some bad winds coming in. We've been helping each other keep our tents and tarps down. I don't know if we'll be able to hear you. It's all crazy. Yeah, we'll see. Well, 
he saw one and I guarantee he missed because it didn't sound like he hit him. Missed again. Let's see if I can see what he's shooting at. Sound like a hit to me, do they to you? No, yeah, in a bit. I think Greg shot a buck. We just heard a few shots. He said he got two in him. He thinks he's down in the trees, so I'm excited for Greg. Got a buck, so hopefully, hopefully he can find him. And yeah. morning and not just because I haven't seen deer I've seen a couple deer but mostly because there's people everywhere you look so anyway I don't know what he is yet but good job Greg he found his buck so we're gonna go he kind of gave me a general idea where he's at so we'll go try to find him and see if we can't help him out stoked for you Greg congrats buddy We spotted Greg down there, he's about 300, 350 yards down there. It looks like he's already taken care of his deer, so. I take it he didn't want to wait for some good photos for Peyton and I, so. Uh, anyway, let's go see what he's got. I'm super pumped for him. Hey. He's got a nice little inline kicker here, but he's, he's young. Oh, wow. That's bullshit, wow. Dude, that's a stud. He's all right, he's good for what, for what I was thinking. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with him. The backs are freaking awesome. Look at that eye guard. Yeah, little inline there. Dang. 780 yards from way the heck up there. I'm a little tired. <laughs> Dude, I hiked all over this thing because I thought I shot him up in this area. He died right up in here. Where did you actually shoot at? Back here. Then he went up into these trees, but everything looks different when you're down low, you know? Hunting a day and seeing more people out here than deer. Got to go home tomorrow. 780 yards too, that's pretty high. That was my longest shot to date. And then, did you want some fun? Good. There you go, premium. That's the premium stuff right there. This is why we do it right here. Greg made a beautiful 780 yard shot. Freaking this opening right here. Threaded the needle. Yeah. And the rescue team came in to help him, so. <laughs> I was happy to see you guys coming down the mountain. I bet, dude. We made quick work of this buck. Yeah, it's gonna be a trek out of here, but many hands make the work light. That's right, that's right. This is awesome stuff. That's why we do it. Appreciate the invite, man. You betcha, man. Beautiful right there. That's the thing that made him tick. Perfect condition too, dude. I'm telling you, you cut around these veiny things and eat it, it is so good. A little butter and salt and pepper. That's it? That's it. Like you cut, see the all the valves? Yeah, cut all that out. <laughs> oh dude, so good. Ready? One, two, three. Got it? Yep, good. Beautiful day. I can only imagine, dude. Sucks. 
but it also is awesome. Time for the rain. Yeah. No, hey, I'm pumped, man. We had some uh, different circumstances come down. Uh, had a flight booked, had it canceled, had a flight booked again. Oh, yeah. Ended up driving out here overnight. Got to Eric's house and then uh, loaded up in bonsai over here. But yeah, I couldn't be happier after seeing as many orange orange hats around this morning. Pumpkin arm. Pretty, pretty happy to get this guy out of here. No, hey, it was a blast, man. Quite an adventure and. Appreciate Eric and, and Peyton's help. There he is. But hey, it's been a day, a lot of hunters around, but we were able to pull one buck out. Hopefully we get lucky again in the morning. Yeah. Haul two out. Yeah, what what a crazy, a, crazy adventure. It's been a trying experience. Yeah. Hunters been, on every ridge around us. Yeah. It's like, dang. Been fun though, the scenery and been yeah. good. Been fun hunting with you guys. Yeah, it's been awesome. Still scratching my head what to do for the rest of the days we have to hunt, but Craig's got to go home tomorrow after the morning hunt, so. Yeah. yeah we'll see. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give it a go. Hail Mary for this hunt, back country, high country, all the things. I'm already getting the new wolf gray game changer sweaty, breaking her in. Anyway, we have three and a half days to get it done before season closes, so just had a new baby at home and things are a little stressful right now. Wolf gray's just arrived, so there's a lot going on, but we're gonna give it absolutely everything we got to get a mature buck killed on this trip. And I'm visualizing it every step of this long journey up there, visualizing it, so let's go. 3.5 miles, three and a half miles, almost 3,000 elevation, 3,000 feet elevation gained in an hour and 42 minutes, so we're doing pretty good. Uh, way quicker than uh, previously, so we're close to being able to filter some water and getting into where we can set up camp. We'll set up camp super quick so we can try to start hunting. So who knows, if I kill buck tonight, I might kill a stud tonight. I'm sure I'll get huffing and puffing, but it's not too, too bad right now. 
Could be worse. Let's go in a big back. Alright, so we made it about five and a quarter miles in here. You gotta get eyes on a deer, a big buck, so we're gonna bust a hay and hurry and just kinda get camp ready and kick some dirt and rocks away and get going, so. Couple does over here and a uh, few guys in places I don't want guys. Just because deer live in the places they are sleep in the places they are. Not much we can do about that. Um, anyway, wow, slow. Crazy how the deer just all decide, hey, we, we're not going to move. And they don't move. And then you wonder if there's even a deer on the mountain. Because that's how I felt tonight. sleep. left here of season. No animals moving last night. Hopefully there'll be some animals moving this morning. I might split up again at least for an hour or so just so we can watch the north end. Uh, hopefully someone else, hopefully there's some shooting so we know there's some animals moving or something. Got cold last night. Like I had on all my layers inside my 15 degree bag. small box over here um, looks like a few more people leaving which is good could have been a few more show up I'm not sure or what but it's frustrating things don't go as planned but they rarely do so it makes it sweet when they all come together but Thank you. 
for you. Getting down to the wire here. We're gonna load up and get down to that knob where we were last night and see if we can't find a buck. So here we go, I'll load up my pack. Slow, slow, slow. The moon isn't doing us any favors. Heat's not doing us any favors. But I don't know what the plan is tomorrow. What do you think? It's our last hurrah. Last hurrah. I need to think about it. But in the meantime, we got like a 45 minute hike back to camp. So plenty of time to think and sweat. doing us dirty. No, bueno. One last hurrah tomorrow morning. Gonna dip out of here. See if we can find a buck to go after. If not, pack up camp, head low, hunt some low stuff on the way out. So it's not over yet. Hopefully we can find a buck this morning worth going after. If not, we'll pack up and hunt our way out. So, thanks. Amen. Well, we're gonna hunt our way down. Uh, we know one spot where there was a big mature buck. We're gonna just timber pound and last day, I'm completely anti pounding timber, but on the last day, do everything you can do. So um, we're gonna do that. And if we can't drum something up that way, we're gonna just glass the road at night, hopefully find something to go after in the evening. So we'll give it everything till the end. something lower for tonight and see if we can't get lucky. up through this burn and hoping 
we'd either jump something or see something. It's kind of refreshing to see something new, but it's more of the same, just a few does moving. And no bucks. Like, not even small bucks. Okay, well, we saw some two birds, but those don't count. Alright. That's why you don't give up. <laughs> we went like, I don't know, 10 miles today. My feet don't even work right now. We've been complaining how we haven't been seeing deer. And Paint's like, oh, there's a buck, and a buck just stepped out. Um, I'm gonna try to get set up on him. Get a range, and go from there. Think there's a bigger one in here. Hit him. You hear the deer? <laughs> Finally. Wow. Seven PRC, baby. I didn't. Started to question whether I was gonna kill a buck. It's a last day buck. It's not what I thought I came here to kill, but. Very last day, 109 days. Heck yeah. <laughs> we gotta get that thing taken care of. Got him right here. Great and I well, looked at him about the same time, so didn't roll too far. 175 grain yield DX. Go get some photos and get them taken care of, so let's do it. Tagged out, dude. <laughs> Last day, so you never give up. Just trying to keep a positive attitude and just trying to say, we're gonna kill a buck, we're gonna kill a buck, I don't know how. We're gonna kill a buck, told Peyton. Ready for one last death march. We went on one last death march and patient, patient, we're like, oh, how is there not a buck in here? There has to be a buck in here. And sure enough, pretty nice deer for the last day. Really nice deer. 2022 rifle mule deer. We're gonna hurry and get it. Taken care of and let's out of here because I gotta be back to get a meeting tomorrow morning. So it's so why you never give up. This is a deer that I'm very happy with on the last day for sure. So getting taken care of. A little exhausted. Cutting meat up in the dark. A place we've never been before. Should be interesting getting out of here, but here's the good stuff.
must seek right here. You're the deer, baby. Man, nine days hunting, and this was probably the best buck I saw. And I held out for a giant, but at the end of the day, this one was, I felt good about it. Seven PRC hammered in 448 yards. So last day buck, fantastic last day buck, really. Public land. You're the deer, baby. You're the deer. <laughs>